we've got around 2 million objects in the collection. Uh, they date back to, well, the first acquisition was from 1792. Um, it's an incredible collection, really, really important material, huge numbers of scientifically important specimens. So those are the sorts of things that you wouldn't see on display, but those are things which help us understand biodiversity on the whole of the planet and certainly within Ireland. In 2020, we started a project to address some of the problems that we've had with this building. We want to make sure that as many people as possible can get access to this building and see our incredible collection. What we've been doing over the last couple of years is moving a lot of material out of the building, um, what we call decanting, and that has been to allow the first stage of the work that had to happen um, to get started, and that is to install what we call a crash deck on our roof area, um, which allows people to get up into the roof space, and it means that architects can start figuring out how the whole space is put together, because we don't have any plans for the building. And of course, as part of that, we're going to have to continue the decamp that we started a couple of years ago. Um, and you know, the elephant in the room there is, is literally the elephant in the room. We have huge objects to move. We have thousands of specimens to move and of course all of the cases that we're surrounded by. But for the next year or so we're actually going to be mostly just planning uh, and not moving very much at all. So we hope to stay open for most of that time and we're working with our colleagues in the OPW to try to get together the best possible plan. We want our collections to be preserved for the future. Um, they've lasted for a good while, you know, a couple of hundred years some of them, um, and we want to make sure they can last for another couple of hundred years. Mm -hmm.